The craft distilling industry has skyrocketed over the last several years. Like craft beer, which took off in the 80s, consumers are turning to tasty spirits, locally made and handcrafted. While whiskey is the most common among the craft spirits, others continue to grow in popularity. Handcrafted vodka means that you have complete control over every aspect of the process, really from farm to bottle. We've been handcrafting vodka since about 2000, and it's been getting bigger and bigger in the industry for the last uh, five or six years. What makes handcrafted vodka different is that all the ingredients are locally sourced, and we have one or two people that follow the whole process all the way through, from the farm all the way through the bottling. The larger companies, when you have so many cases that are being made, they don't have that control that we have. The process of distilling vodka is a long and careful one. Each step takes time and is handled with care to develop the vodka into the smooth drink it is by the time it reaches the consumer. The myth exists that all vodkas today are made from potatoes when fewer than 5% are. Primarily today, a lot of uh, vodkas are produced from wheat and corn, but potatoes can produce a notably sweeter and smoother finish. The process starts by taking potatoes and cooking them up to 190 degrees to break down the long chain starch molecules into their simple sugar components. From there, we cool that mash down of potatoes and transfer it into a fermenter. In the fermenter, what we're doing is we're adding yeast, and these little buggers are like Pac-Man, where they go and they eat that sugar and convert it and basically make three things. Heat, carbon dioxide, and what we want, which is alcohol. The next step after the fermentation is we actually have a potato beer. And what we want to do is refine that beer and get the alcohol out of it. That's where the distillation process begins. We use what's known as a four column fractional distillation system. We begin by boiling that potato beer and taking most of the solids out. That's column one. Column two, we have what's known as a crude 190 proof alcohol. And then the real craftsmanship of blue ice comes in the final two where we're refining it and getting it to approximately 193 proof, creating that subtle uh, sweet finish to it. Our whole process is overseen by one person within a 300 foot radius from a potato to a bottle, and that's rare in North America. Not all vodka is created equal. While many consumers believe all vodka is made from potatoes, only 2% actually is. Most vodka is made from grains like sorghum, corn, rice, rye, or wheat. But potatoes provide it with its smooth texture and are still used among a distinct group of distillers. Ingredients are key to the tasting experience of the spirit. When I tell my friends what to look for in a good vodka, the, there are a couple key things. One of them is it should be odorless and tasteless, but it should have a nice mouthfeel. There should be some viscosity that you feel on the sides of your tongue. There should be a, a hint of sweetness to it, and it shouldn't burn. It shouldn't make you have a gag reflex. It should be smooth with a nice creamy finish. Personally, I like potato vodka better than any other vodka. I think it makes the best vodka. Just because it's a handcrafted bottle of vodka doesn't necessarily mean that it's good. You have to have the right equipment, you have to have the right people, and you have to start with a great crop. And if you have all that combined, then you can have a brand. Once we have a consistent brand, the consumers are gonna stay with those locally handcrafted brands because they feel they're their own. Here at Blue Eyes, we're all about quality. From the Idaho rusted potatoes, to our water source, to the best equipment, to the people. It gives us the ability to have a consistent vodka every day. With the vision of creating vodka from the highest quality crops in America, Big Jim Meyerson built 21st century spirits in the homeland of vodka's most important ingredient, potatoes. With local ingredients and a careful process, 21st Century Spirits is dedicated to producing the smoothest handcrafted blue ice vodka. We have one ingredient in our vodka, you know, Idaho russet potatoes. All those potatoes are locally sourced and we have a contract with the Idaho Potato Commission so we get the best potatoes. Also, all of our potatoes are non-GMO, which makes our vodka non-GMO. What makes blue ice unique is that we ferment and distill all at the same facility. In every bottle, there's nine and a half pounds of potatoes. Our water is sourced from the Teton Mountains. It actually flows through 200 feet of volcanic rock into an aquifer where we can pull it out of that aquifer and put it in our bottle. There's a reason why we're the highest rated American vodka. It's because of all these points. From the use of natural water to specialized distillation and filtration process, each step that goes into creating blue ice vodka has been carefully thought out 
and is executed with extreme care. We're strategically located in Eastern Idaho, which is the beating heart of the Idaho Potato Grown Country. This gives us immediate and direct access to all the Idaho russet potatoes that we need. We're proud of the care and craftsmanship we put into Blue Ice Vodka. I would say it's not bragging if you can do it. For me, Blue Ice Vodka is the best vodka there is on the market. I think it has the cleanest taste, the best finish, and is the purest vodka you can get. 21st Century Spirits and Blue Ice Vodka put quality first. They are dedicated to producing the best vodka, starting with a single source and ending with a great tasting spirit. And now our package actually resonates with the handcrafted vodka that we have in the bottle. We feel now that we have a perfect match between our packaging and our vodka. And because it comes from potatoes, you'll get a nice smooth creamy finish. To learn more, visit us online today.